I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. morning Okeechobee High School week two of your last nine weeks seniors and juniors will be seniors in another what eight eight weeks yeah, somewhere around like, there what? maybe even before that we're not under not 30 days yet but we're close yeah. so you're getting mm -hmm. close by the end of this week you'll be under 30 days seniors that's under a calendar month so move forward the thought I have for you something and again hopefully you're paying attention here's what I need you to do I need you to follow along okay Place your hand over your heart, and you feel a little beat. You feel that? That's your heart, okay? That's your purpose. So you're alive for a reason. Don't forget that you're alive for a reason. You have a purpose to be here, so make sure you make it a great one. Help yourself, help others, give back, do what you gotta do to move forward and be great. Even if yesterday, you did something or you did something stupid or you got off to a bad start, you got today and forward to make things right. The problem is when you keep doing stupid things over and over and over again, that's when you didn't learn. You can always learn from a mistake and move forward. Do not be afraid to make a mistake. They're learning. You learn when you make mistakes. The key is to just not make the same mistake twice. So again, when you're ever not sure, that is your purpose. You have a life for a reason. Take advantage of it. And make sure others know your purpose and take them with you. Um, scheduling. Scheduling. <laughs> I knew I was going somewhere. 
We're getting to the end of the alphabet. So tomorrow night from four to seven, if your last name is your last name begins with T through Z, you can show up any time between four and seven. Um, you know, in the process, I mean, you come in, you start looking at your papers, you get a chance to face to face with a guidance counselor. Um, so we'll, we'll get you in. We will have a couple of makeup days coming up in the future the next week um, for you guys that didn't have the opportunity to have a face to face. And then we'll be working our way through the school to catch everybody else up for scheduling. So make sure you're staying on top of that because you it's pretty important if you're an underclassman to have schedules for next year. You don't want me creating your schedule for you. You want to have some say so in it. So let's have a great week. It's going to be a busy week. We got a lot of activities. Ms. Goggins going to talk you through some of the things going on. Um, you guys taking the FSA reading retake, you juniors and seniors, you're ready. Do it. Take your time and breathe and don't freak yourself out and just take the test like you know you're prepared for. Take your time and you're going to be fine. Don't overthink it. You'll be okay. We also should get some SAT scores back today. So hopefully we have 40 or 50 juniors just like we did last year that we're able to go to and say, hey, congratulations, you don't have to take the test today. So it'll take us some time to get all those in once College Board releases it. But hopefully by the end of the day or first thing in the morning, you will know whether you are one of those lucky juniors that are good. You're, you're done. So what you got? Mr. Reams calling me. So really quickly here, uh, as far as technical things with testing, um, especially if you are testing tomorrow um, and if you don't know if you're testing tomorrow if you took the writing test if February 28th and you're a junior or senior you're testing tomorrow so that that should clear it up your third hour teacher should be able to tell you exactly where for most of you it will be the same place you tested last time for like 95% of you but just check with your third hour teacher make sure that you uh, get to the right spot Chromebook, your Chromebook is very important that you at the end of the day today, number one, turn it off, which means press a little button and power it off. Don't just shut it. Number two, put it in the cart and make sure it's plugged into charge. You will have to have it to test tomorrow. So very important if you're testing that you do those things. Second of all, um, tomorrow the, the reading test, um, you have to have either earbuds or headphones for that. You can use your own. If you're more comfortable using your own earbuds or headphones, bring them with you. If not, we have some over-the-ear headphones that we can give you to wear for testing. But uh, if you want to use your own, bring them with you, have them ready. And um, so hopefully everything will go smoothly with that. Tomorrow is session one. Wednesday will be session two. Plan to be here both days so we don't have to hassle with makeups and all that. Just get here, get it done, and move forward. Move forward. Gosh, I said it. And just forward, huh? everybody else, if you're not taking the, the reading retakes tomorrow, I mean, you'll rotate through your classes as normal. I mean, some areas may wind up being in the lecture hall, but only in certain buildings. So it's not necessarily a complete shutdown day like we had the first time. Um, and we will try to let you know in advance when we have those days um, where we may wind up having to shut down the campus because we're testing in 35 different locations. But tomorrow, tomorrow and Wednesday will not be that day. We have a lot of testing locations, um, but you should be able to move around through the majority of your classes. Have a great day. Move forward. Be great.